Puberty is probably one of the most significant events to occur during our lives, biologically speaking that is. Yet, most of us only know very little about it. See, the dictionary puts puberty as the period of life when a person's sexual organs mature and he or she becomes able to have children. Which is helpful, but as many of you know, far too simplified. So let's dig deeper, look at puberty stage by stage, and why not use an analogy? Marathons, because that's what puberty feels like. Long, drawn out, and you regret signing up as soon as it starts. Not that there was ever a sign up, or a choice for that matter. Now, everybody knows that puberty has to do with hormones, so that'll be the start. Gonadotropin releasing hormone, or GNRH, is released by the hypothalamus and the gunfire rings out. The seemingly endless journey of puberty has officially begun. That trigger then stimulates the nearby pituitary gland to increase the production of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, yes, in both sexes. In males, pubic hair begins to grow, luteinizing hormone drives production of androgens in the testes like testosterone, while follicle stimulating hormone drives the growth of seminiferous tubules, preparing for sperm production. In females, the two hormones signal the ovaries to prepare for the release of estrogen and menstruation. First stage of puberty, done. Second stage of the race. This is when changes become visibly noticeable. Males, a leaner, more masculine body begins to develop under the influence of testosterone while the testicles continue growing. Females, pubic hair may begin to grow and estradiol drives the breasts begin to develop, and both genders experience growth spurts. You know what? This is actually getting a bit drawn out, so let's hail a taxi and speed up slash cheat a bit. Stage 3, the reproductive organs of both genders begin to grow in size, males, voice cracking rises from testosterone stimulation and unwanted erections pick up the pace. Females, estrogen production begins to induce menarche or the first menstruation cycle in 7 out of 10 girls, all while armpit hair and acne begin to appear. Almost there. Stage 4, males, armpit hair begins to show up along with the beloved acne, which you can learn about here. And growth accelerates some more. Picture of the voice evens out in the deeper end, and for females, growth decelerates at this point, and ovulation begins to develop a rhythm. And done! The finish line has been crossed. Somewhere in there, sweat smelled really bad for a brief period of time, and blood pressure jumped a bit. There were a few uphill times, a bit of hormone-driven psychological cuckoo-ness, some not-so-glorious moments, and the occasional voice cracking that sounded like someone gave a middle schooler bubble wrap. But hey, look on the bright side! Everything came out alright in the end, and adulthood has officially arrived. For the most part, anyway.